Recently, I caught every single fish in Stardew Valley for my perfection playthrough, and playing it again made me realize how wrong I was on so many of my Stardew Valley fish tier list I made two years ago. So today, I'm gonna be going through my list again and showing you what the true hardest fish in Stardew Valley is, and just how wrong I was about everything I said back then. So I'm gonna go through every single one, give you my updated takes. First off, albacore, that's an easy fish. I don't think I need to explain that. If you can't catch an albacore, you literally are not right with God, and you need to consider praying. An anchovy, Anchovy, anchovy is very easy. Actually, I'm gonna put anchovy in easy because it's kind of it has it's around at like weird hours, and I remember actually struggling with it. Anglerfish, dog easy, dog dog easy. Now the blobfish is kind of a controversial one. A lot of people say that this is like one of the hardest fish in the game. I actually did not struggle with any of the night market fish at all in my most recent perfection playthrough. Now keep in mind, I did struggle with some of the fish in my perfection playthrough, but I got them all on pretty much the first attempt. So I'm just gonna put blobfish in annoying. That's my take. Blue discus is beyond easy. Beyond easy. That's so freaking easy. Now the bream, I'm going to be honest, I actually struggled with catching a bream back in the day, back when I did perfection. First of all, you have to wait. It's one of the only fish in the game. They have to wait till 6 PM to catch for whatever reason, which is annoying as all heck. You have to stay up super late and then it's only available for like a very small time. So it can be annoying. Now keep in mind, you can get it delivered to you by some of the NPCs. So that kind of makes it easier, but I'm still going to put it in annoying. Bullhead is easy, but like it's kind of cusping on annoying. Okay. But I'm going to put it at the top of annoying sunfish. Everybody knows that's easy. Catfish. I'm not even joking. I put catfish at the same tier as blobfish. And people are gonna dog me for that. I already know that. People are gonna be like, you know, like, blobfish is one of the hardest fish in the game to catch. And I think that catfish are just as hard. I think the jolting pattern of the catfish where it goes zoop, zip, zubbity, zo, like, that I think is genuinely hard to get your handle on. Chub, I think is the easiest fish to catch in the game. The crimson fish, I think, is hard. I think the crimson fish is hard. I used to think he was a lot harder. I do think he is, you know what, I actually might put him in impossible. I think he is probably the, he's like the third hardest legendary fish. And he's probably like the seventh hardest fish in the game, sixth or seventh or something like that, we'll see. But like, he is still a genuinely difficult fish. And I think part of that is for some reason, I have a really hard time pulling up the crimson fish. I always have a really hard time like actually landing it. I don't, uh, maybe that's, just, is this a experience that is only exclusive to me? But I can never get this guy on the line, okay? Now we have the Dorado. Dorado is actually very easy. I don't know why I thought he was harder back in the day. Eel, annoying. Eel is like a little bit, is like definitely easier than the catfish, but harder than the bream. But the eel is annoying, especially because you can only, it was like, you can only catch in weird hours. And also you need to catch a bunch for stupid, perf like to cook all the perfection recipes. So that also makes it more annoying because it's like, oh, you can only catch them these certain times. And then his pattern is just weird. But I will say I did catch him on like the very first attempt because I'm like goaded with the sauce, okay? Flounder, very easy. Ghost fish annoying ghost fish is so annoying for perfection you actually have to fish one of these guys up you can't just like get one from a ghost this thing is really annoying to actually get it takes a good long while yo what's up sal brother what is bream doing up there i think the bream is annoying i don't know what you want me to say i think the bream is annoying now we get to the big kahuna this was my biggest error when i did my initial list this was the by far and away the stupidest thing that i did the glacier fish for some reason a lot of people have told me that they have trouble catching the glacier fish, but I've never really had that problem. Its pattern never seems pretty particularly difficult to me. And since I'm already here, I decided to go and catch the glacier fish. I mean, I've got level 10 fishing now. Should be a piece of cake, right? Well, yes. If that cake was forged with dog feces and baked in the center of the sun, this was far and away the biggest challenge I had in the entire run. Not the octopus, not the lava eel, not even the legend. The glacier fish single-handedly almost made me stop this entire video. In my opinion, the glacier fish is the hardest fish to catch in all of Stardew Valley, and it is not close. Like, I am, I'm actually thinking about putting, like, a, I actually, I, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Add a row abo above. I actually think the glacier fish is that annoying to catch. His pattern is ab absurd. He immediately jolts up, then he jolts back down. The frequency that he goes, even at level 10, is so difficult. Even at level 10, with freaking Trapper Bobber, I still find the Glacier Fish really hard to catch for some reason. And you're supposed to be able to catch him at like level 6 or 7 or something like that, or 8, whatever it is. He is far and away the worst fish in all of Stardew Valley to catch. I can't even believe that this was put into the game. Like, I'm honestly like astonished that it hasn't been updated or that the levels haven't been updated. Actual freaking torture. I hate it so much. This thing is easy. I don't even remember its name, but it's dog 
easy. This thing is easy. Okay, here's my second hot take of this video. The second hardest fish in all of Stardew Valley. Is it the lava eel? Is it, maybe is it the octopus? Is it maybe the stingray? The, the mutant carp? The legend? No, it's none of those. It's the ice pip, ma'am. I hate the ice pip. Not only is the ice pip almost impossible to get on the line, even with a freaking curiosity lore, because then if you use the curiosity lore, then you don't have trap bobber. And the pattern on this thing is absurd. I can't believe that this, the bite rate hasn't been updated. Up, up. If you're going to have a pattern this hard, you need to update the, the bite rate. Lava eel was given a much easier out, right? Because now you can catch lava eel at the volcano mines, which actually, and I'm spoiling this a little, Lava Eel's only annoying now. He's just annoying. I don't even find him hard because he's so easy to get on the line now. The ice pip? Oh, my dog is getting upset at the way I'm talking. It's okay. Yay! 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 Okay, sit down. Lava Eel used to be really hard, I will say, but it's gone down. The ice pip? It took me like four in-game days to even just hook one i hate the ice pip legend i think is either oh this is the largemouth batch which i'll put in annoying largemouth bass i will put in impossible he is you know i'm just gonna put him in hard actually he's either the third or fourth hardest fish to catch in the game i did used to like kind of sl i used to sleep on the legend but the legend's harder than i remember i'm gonna be honest the legend actually like it does kind of give you a run for its money i've tried to catch it on like level 13 fishing before and it still can sort of like give you a little bit of trouble i think the reason that it gets lowered down is because you think it's gonna be easy I mean, you think it's going to be hard, so you prepare for it. So then it becomes easy, okay? Link God is surprisingly difficult. Maybe not as difficult as, like, these fish. But the link God actually sometimes gave me a little bit of trouble, okay? I'm just I'm just being real. This thing is very easy. I don't even remember. Lionfish. That's, that thing is a joke. Midnight Carp. I think that the Midnight Carp is annoying. I actually think it might be the top of annoying tier. Because the, can't you only... You can only catch it between 12 p.m. and 2 a.m. in the Ginger Island River, I believe. Which is absurd. Why can you only catch it for those two hours? And yeah, oh yeah, you can use magic bait. Bro, okay, then everything's an easy tier because if you can use magic bait, okay? Like, shut up. You can only catch it for two hours in that river and it makes it so difficult to actually get on the line. Oh my God, I hate the, mag the midnight carp. I did end up using magic bait to catch it, but if you don't use it, it's like, bro, 10 p.m. they start. That's still only four hours. Blue squid. Um, I always mix these two guys up. These are both the, the spook fish and the midnight squid, I believe. Believe, or they're both called i would put them probably both in annoying but i definitely think the blobfish is the hardest of the of the night market fish okay you know what midnight carp i forgot you could catch it in the magic lake the the mountain lake you're going down a little bit all right next up we have the octopus now the octopus used to be my personal second hardest fish in the game it's definitely gone down now i think it's like third i think it's like probably around the same point as the legend because it can be more difficult to catch but with ginger island like you can kind of Hook, hook it up easier. I actually accidentally caught mine last time. It's either on the same level as the legend or a little bit above, but I'm going to give it that little bit of edge because you need a little bit more prep because it's not just like, oh, just go out on a spring rainy day. You know what I mean? Next up, the mutant carp. I think the mutant carp is actually hard, harder than I initially thought. He did, he actually gave me a little bit of trouble this run. I actually think he's harder than the crimson fish, but he's like, he's like harder than you think because you're like, oh, you can catch him starting at fishing level five. Doesn't matter. Doesn't freaking matter, bro. He's still freaking hard as heck. Maybe, yeah, if you have level 14 and trapper bobbers, no, but like most people try and catch it before that okay i don't remember what this thing is but i know it's easy pike is easy pufferfish is annoying but not annoying as all these other things uh largemouth bass you have to go down to easy i'm sorry brother rainbow trout is easy red snapper is easy red mullet is easy the actually red mullet's kind of annoying because it has like weird catch times salmon is easy uh sandfish is easy sardine is easy scorpion carp is hard actually uh, is scorpion carp impossible is scorpion carp above the legend no i think he's like right under the legend scorpion carp is annoying man scorpion okay i I think I'm gonna put scorpion carp up there because I caught the legend on my first attempt. Scorpion carp, it took me a couple and it's annoying. The thing that puts it a leg up is that there's only like two things in the water, but that doesn't always mean you're gonna hook it up. Sometimes you're hooking up freaking sandfish for 10 hours. All right, dude, the legend is low on this list. That's kind of shocking. All right, cucumber is annoying. Super cucumber is like top of annoying. Um, Then we've got the shad, which is easy. Slime fish? actually more annoying than i thought i thought this was like a dog easy fish it actually it gave me a little bit of trouble for my money but it's like probably like a little bit above the bream let's put the smallmouth bass in very easy let's put the octopus wait this is not octopus. this is the squid the squid is annoying because you have to catch a bunch of them for the freaking community center uh for perfection i should say this thing is easy now stingray 
This was one of the stupidest things I think I did in the entire list. Stingray is annoying. Stingray is a little annoying, but once you get to Ginger Island, you should have like a pretty big fishing skill. So it's not particularly hard, though it can be hard to like fish one up. For some reason, I put Stingray in hard, which it's not. I went back and caught the Stingray. The Stingray is dog easy to catch. I don't know why I ever did that. And it's not even really rare. It's just like, it's just that you can only catch in one certain part of the map. So I guess that made me think that it was rarer. So that made it harder to catch. But the Stingray was stupid easy. I, I don't know why I ever thought that. It's just like, boop, and it's done. The pattern's not too hard. And like, you maybe have to sit there for like four hours, maybe. Stonefish is easy. And you know, Stonefish is annoying. Um, Sturgeon is definitely, I kind of want to tear in between between hard and annoying, actually. I'll call it troublesome. Um, the troublesome fish should be lava fish, that, this, that. That's pretty much anything that goes in troublesome. Yeah, and I like this order too. The sturgeon is definitely, eh, the sturgeon might be harder than the blobfish, honestly. The sturgeon is annoying, man. Sturgeon can really tick me off at times. Okay, sunfish, dog easy, easiest fish in the game. Tiger trout can be, can be annoying. Can definitely be annoying if you get a bad pattern. And it's also annoying because it's only available at like certain times and there's so many fish at the times so you can catch it. Took me a little bit to get my tiger trout. Floppy is dog easy. The Tuna is annoying, of course, and the walleye is walleye is easy, but it's annoying because of the time. But I'll just put it in easy. Then we've just got the wood skip and the void salmon. Void salmon can actually be troublesome, I will say. I'm gonna put him in the troublesome tier. His pattern can definitely be difficult, and you have to have like the whole setup, and you have to be in the witch's hut. And his pattern was pretty annoying. I think it took me like like three or four shots. But yeah, it actually did. I remember now. It took me like a couple days in my video because I'm like so used. I was thinking that it was gonna be such an easy pull. You know what? I actually might put it up there. And then. It, like actually gave me all this trouble for like whatever reason i was like just like boom 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 i don't remember but that 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 i did not like and uh argon matrix struggled in his video too i remember so that me that makes it more legit the wood skip is dog easy actually no it's like top of easy this is this is my tier list for the all of the fish in Surdy valley what do you guys think what do you guys think? What are your comments, guys? I want to hear your comments. Also, I want to see compare this to my old tier list. Oh, last time I made an okay tier. That's basically what I did here. I would put Stingray in Annoying. I don't think so. I had Lava Yell as the hardest one in the fish. Oh my god, this what is this list? Bro, why did I have uh, why did I have freaking Crimson Fish above the legend? Like that's just stupid. I had the E why is the eel so high? Why is the eel so freaking high? It's so high. What the hell? Void salmon annoying. I agree with that. Slime fish. I, slime fish got a downgrade. Wow. Stonefish got upgraded, I guess. Glacierfish got promoted so far. Yeah, I can't believe I only had Glacierfish and Annoying. Glacierfish is absurd. I must not be remembering correctly. Like, I must have not been remembering co correctly. Whoa, why do I have Mutant Carp at easy? I, I, I mean, like... Bro, is, he's like kind of hard. I don't know. Why did I have him at easy? You know, I actually think that he's probably in troublesome. He's probably like a, below the lava eel. But he's not easy. Like, that's just absurd. That's just a stupid take. Pufferfish is so high. What the heck? That's so annoying. Carp is the easiest of the easiest. I think sunfish is the easiest of the easiest, actually. He's easy for a legendary fish. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's easy. I'd put Stingray in annoying. Yeah, maybe he's like top of easy. Maybe it's just because I'm un I under I overestimated him so much that like when I actually did him, he was easy, you know? Everyone's saying the new list is better. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Reviews are in. That is the official difficulty rating of the Stardew Valley fish. The, the troublesome tier can probably be moved around a little bit, but mostly this is actually correct. And last time I did this, everyone said that I was wrong and stupid. And you know what? I, they were right. I was wrong and stupid. And But now I'm right and smart and genius and goaded. And now I'm just like, I'm cool and based and like no longer cringe. So that's the situation. And, that, and that's the list. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I appreciate it.